and down this way. And this way. Cutscene. Our locked door. You stopped, sensing that something was approaching you. As you prepared for attack, Hobbit definitely made his way over the fence. Hold this for a second. Daniel tossed something at you as he ran by. Ah, oh, no trap, isn't it? Directly caught it, Daniel grinned. Thanks. Daniel was gone before you could stop him. Certainly, three thieves ran, came running from the same direction that Daniel came from. When the, Daniels, when the thieves saw, saw in your hands what Daniel given you, they dropped, stopped and threw their weapons. Are you one of his gang? How dare you steal anything from us? Not letting you explain, the thieves attacked you. Okay. Good news is, I'm in pretty good shape. Level 4 Thief. Alright, so the good news is Restrict Shot works on anybody. Well, it works on multiple attacks, which is good. Because, um, yeah. And Boost of Heart Rose of Aid, because we're going to need that, I suspect. There we go, fight's taken care of. Hopefully this will get me a key I need. <sighs> In fighting the thieves, Daniels appeared. You're pretty strong. I guess they were just unlucky. Daniel laughed cheerfully. My job is to steal from the thieves wandering around in this labyrinth. A lot easier than fighting scary monsters. Look at how I did today. Grab the Daniel grabbed the large bundle that he threw to you a moment ago. He opened up the bundle and pulled out a plethora of items. Hee hee hee, I got a lot today. My policy is to make money the easy way. I almost got caught, but it's a good thing I ran into you guys. Help me out if something like this happens to me again. I'll give you those items over there to you. They're stolen goods anyway. Well, I've already made lots of money on this floor, so I'm going down to the fifth floor. See you later. That signal then he ran off swiftly up to the end of the path. Then he ran, jumped straight into a pitfall and disappeared. What an odd fella. Does he not have any pride as a thief for him to jump into a trap like that? Now, I know he's just a kid, but they must be well, still pretty bright. There must be a reason. Might be a good idea to follow him. First, 
Alright, so there's two items in that room I can get, and my inventory is almost completely full. I have two open spots. Um... Oh, the boost the entire party's evade. Looks like that's a group enemy fire attack. I'm going to discard that demon egg. That's a chain mail. Craftsman armor. Okay. All right, that takes me down here. Actually, probably more useful than that chainmail. It's locked. Good. It's just about to in case if you tend to go forth. It's just easy when you want to get back. So that one takes me to thirty-five, which is. All the way back over there. Oh crap. Um Oh, I didn't get the B4 key. Oops. Okay, so I screwed up. All right, so. Well, I can go back in here. Okay. Okay, I know where I am now. Okay, I know where I am now. This is taking a lot longer than I anticipated because I just wanted to kind of wrap up, but, um...
back here. What we're going to do next is down. This is another complex, unconvoluted one, unfortunately. Uh, Actually, evil ninja, apparently. lost myself here. Okay. So... Alright. Okay. So actually... This one... Because then I just go... Oops, no, that isn't what I wanted. Okay, I screwed up. Not by too much, though. Because that puts me here. Oh, still the same place it was before. Oh, well. I thought I was being more clever than I was. Oh, well. Seven is the one I could need to go to. Um, my bad.
before I get too far into this, um... Warrior... Paladin... That and... All oh, right, that's what I need to do. All right, and then scripted pitfall. I'm just gonna map this room just for the health. Just gonna take completeness. Existing route. way. Fall there, so skip it. Fall there, so avoid that. Move over this way.
to the key. Got to be four key. Okay, there we go. Now I can double back. Trap. Back this way. Here. This door. Yes! And back to the old jail. end up at the second floor elevator room. This elevator goes to B3. you guys I can handle. Okay, there we go. So I am on B3. On the same side. So okay. All right. I think I know where I am now. So now. Let's just get out of this dungeon. And before I wrap up the session. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to level up my party and identify my gear and all this and deal with all the nonsense. All right, levels up. He's level ten. Jurgen. Ooh, he's got third level spells now. Look, looks like the max number of spells you can get per level is nine. Okay. Stop. Get the vellum off my hands. What gets for Thief's Blood and Pixie Wing to get the Silence Vellum? Um.
Ice spell, okay. Oh, this makes up for me missing a uh, stream last week. demon egg for the other spell. And hang on to that um, demon egg. So... That'll have to wait. Yes, I need to appraise a bunch of items. Ah, uh, Craftsman Katana. I think I've already got that one already. Nope. And let's suck it. I can touch my dagger. Go. We got thicker plates, so go. I need to get the quest reward for that quest I took on. You pulled the Joker. Was from Big Warrior. You accepted that corpse Paolo's quest, didn't you? Let me joke at anything, not money nor items. Well, it couldn't be helped yet to kill your client. Well, the big laugh wasn't laughing at you. It's probably barbaric, probably his barbaric personality. They've been drinking peace now, now that they hang around town. Funny though, all the rotting corpses eat humans. But it's not. But it's the first time I've heard of a rotting corpse disguising itself as a human. Plus, it was living life normally. 
Thinking about it, did he actually think he really was a human? He frowned and shrugged his shoulders. Well, there are some weird things in this world. Oh, that's right, some of the castle want you to have this. An ash charm. And a bunch of XP. Two more party members leveled up after that. Look, it's Ro it's, it's Rose. It is. What happened to Romeo, huh? Did you sell him off? Men in the tavern began laughing. Shut up. Shut up. Go home and. Wow. Okay, I'm good. Um, we're trying to keep things relatively family friendly here. A woman approached you as she um, pushed aside the men making fun of her. You're the one who accepted the quest? I'm Rose Avila. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then get a shout out. Crass cat calls. Shut up, dumbass. Woman gave the man a nice right hook to the face. Man was knocked out cold. Ahem, so here's the quest. Uh, Rose looked way embarrassed. Why don't you see what my husband is doing? That woman with the breath of the laughter. Shut up, I said. Man, these guys never grow up. They've been sneaking out to the labyrinth, but what's up about that is, he faints at the sight of any monster. He's definitely hiding something from me. I think there's a meeting someone there, but he's never been the type of person to hide things from. He's been avoiding me. Don't you think something's up? He's meeting with another woman. I'm not going to forgive him. His name is Giorgio. He's a handsome man with black hair down to his shoulders and slit like eyes. According to these guys here, he's been going to the fourth floor fairly often. I'm leaving this up to you. Okay, so I have to complete another quest before I can unlock a third one before I can take on uh, Gustav's. And... Back to the end one more time, since we leveled up two more party members. Okay. Cardo is level 11. Cal as is Kalo. And I will save my game here and call it a night. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.